saw a ghost It woke me up from a daydream My body froze My spirit melted away Meanwhile in Europe, La Vagabond was docked in Marina di Valletta on the magical island of Malta. When will I find out where I'm going to? The ghost was hey, Milady, what's your name? Elena. Elena, pleased to meet you, Brent. Pleased to meet you. So, if you need a... Last week, we got salty on the south coast before we met up with Justina, a Polish girl who bought a sailboat for one euro and plans to refit the entire thing herself. In the next few days, we plan to set sail for northern Africa. We are about to jump in the dinghy and cruise around the coastline to a bay called St Julian's where I stayed while I was raining for Raleigh uh, to catch up with Frida Max and Yosha from some old Dallas episodes. So we're really excited to meet them, talk sail talk and yeah, super stoked. Yeah, it should be good. Um, Yosha emailed us when we were in New Zealand but we, uh, were, uh, she was in the, on the South Island so we never got around to catching up so it should be good to go and see them now. Unless I coat hang myself. Oh my gosh, this is always such an adventure. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> good job. Don't remember the lights. Watch your head, watch your head, duck your head. Okay. Snake it there. The weather has just been so nice here. I think we had one day that was quite overcast and every day is like this. It's super hot though. But can you believe how humid Malta is? No, it's quite humid. See you later, See you, Breno! Bye. <laughs> Bye. Breno is such a legend. He sailed over from France on a boat like this big, stayed here, works at the marina, and just organises drinks for everyone. He's just a legend. Totally. Sweet dream, giving me full soul. said that you don't look back when you leave Frida, Max and Yosha. And uh, they know me as the Manscraft probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Big Max for... Yeah. for that was the nickname. Yeah, it was. Uh, it for was. some stupid reason. So you guys were all on uh, SV Delos, the YouTube channel, a few years ago. How many years ago was that? Two years ago. Yeah, we, we all lived at the same time. Mm. Two, it was like two years ago. August, Ex exactly two August, years ago, I August think. August 2015. When we, we left Madagascar, uh, I moved back home to New Zealand and I was there for like a year and a half. Um, mm. And I started up my own sort of artsy creative thing called Rama Tree, which is like a reflection of my tree of life. So it's everything creative that I do. Um, writing, videos, painting, all sorts of stuff. Um, and then since, yeah, I was in New Zealand for a year and a half and then I went to Sri Lanka. I was living in Sri Lanka for like four months and now I'm here, painting with freedom. I, uh, I started a company with my, my friend. I actually started just before I went on Delos. Search engine optimization. I'm not going to get into That's that. That's why we're here. <laughs> we're trying to get boosted. Yeah. Yeah. So, I run Falandrin.com with my friend Kimberly and we do art and design. Yeah. And I've taken a walk through your house and like I'm just so <laughs> amazed, honestly. Oh, thank you. Like it is a cool little part. It is so <laughs> cool. What I do is also like because we have Fallon who fights cancer, so we donate art to people that fights cancer. So that's like what we're trying to um, spread as well with Fallandrin. Um, um. It's like a power movement that we're trying to get going and a lot of people that buy our art they help out as well. That's but, beautiful. Yeah. Cool guys, we have the link to uh, your website and yours in the description. Yours is... <laughs> you don't have to read it to me. So this is you here, Mario. Okay. Check your reflection, do you look good? <laughs> This is after a day of work, yes. <laughs> so we've got 
Mario here. He came and said hello. He's a patron of ours. Put him on the spot. How you going, Mario? Oh, it's fine. It's an honor to meet you both. <laughs> awesome. I've been following you for the last four years. And you do a fair bit of sailing around yes. Malta? Yes. On a Genoa? Genoa it's a Genoa San Odyssey 45. Riley and I had to leave Mario to go on provision before the shop shut. We had to prepare for our crossing to Tunisia the following morning, which would be a two day sail and we really didn't know what the food markets were going to look like over there. So we stocked right up. Somehow provisioning always leads to a cleaning frenzy on board La Vagabond. We are all scared to have the world at our Across the countryside, all by myself. What do you call this? Slacking off. Oh, emailing, emailing, yeah, all right. Emailing. <laughs> I knew it. Later that afternoon, we invited Mario back around. He'd been to Tunisia a bunch of times, and we really wanted to pick his brain about the country before we set sail. Well, what would you like to say about it? Is it safe? It's so-so. Uh, You've marked down for us three places that you recommend. Yes, that's right. When you finish filming, I'll tell you something else. <laughs> <laughs> They're away from the Libyan coast. Yeah, why well, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, listen, Just to, yeah. Fuel smuggling, arms smuggling, diesel smuggling, people smuggling, the works. No, don't make an approach at night. If you see a, if you see a dinghy with a lot of people, you have to stay away. Yeah. You know, the Italian Navy and the Maltese Navy do a very good job of keeping of, of picking them up before. And there are a few NGOs which also pick them up beforehand. You know, most of and, them go um, to Italy, and they take them to Italy. Yeah. Okay. They take them to Italy. The smarttraveler.gov.au latest advice on Tunisia is reconsider. You need to travel. Information indicates there are terrorist activities. In recent years, there have been attacks in tourist areas and locations frequented by foreigners. That was that attack in Seuss, Swiss, okay. um, where 38 people died. The US um, one is saying very similar. Travel warning, state of emergency, and they go on to talk about the um, terrorist attacks as well. Do not enter Tunisia. Early the next morning, we left the port. Also, with a new crew member who was keen for the adventure. Oh my god! <laughs> Hello! It's Yosha! We've uh, adopted her for the trip. I'm really excited. So we caught up with dinner with the crew. Got to chatting, asked... we needed a hand. Yeah. And we asked Yosha if she wanted a break from her art for a while, but she's brought her art with her, so it's gonna be... we're gonna get creative on the boat. We've got 180 nautical miles to go to Hammamet. Dude does not see me right now. Look at this little fisherman. Not a cool Morning! What's happened, Raz? The, uh, well, I didn't want to hoist this sail, the zero or the D, until I got away from the island, so we had a good clear run of the wind. I knew exactly what it was doing, so I've decided on the zero. Cool. Europe. <laughs> this is Europe. Where that boat? Oops. Malta. Malta. <laughs> and we're going to Tunisia. Yeah. Hamamet.
okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright. But it sounded really hard. It was. What happened? <laughs> you just like slid off, but you know, you, you're a bit too relaxed. You slid off, but you didn't jump far enough. Oh my gosh, Charles. Oh, babe. <gasps> oh, oh my god, bro. Oh, oh my god, Charlie. Babe, your head is split open. It's not bleeding a lot, but when we pull the skin apart, it's like, it's oh. deep. Oh my god. I don't even want to film this. This is f***ing hectic. Feel a bit silly. It's getting a bit unco. <laughs> Old age, maybe. Unco. <laughs> <laughs> What are you going to do? I'm just going to clean it up with some Dettol and maybe wait for the bleeding to stop and then probably glue him up. I'm like so lightheaded and I feel so strange. It's a pretty deep cut. Is the pain coming? You watch Yosha. Sorry? She'll um... If I don't make enough noise for the camera, she'll jam no, her finger in there. I would never, babe. I'm like panicking more than you right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. a horrible thing to say. <laughs> I'm glad you got a sense of humour. Now, can you, do you want to sit up for me now, actually? Let's tuck that hair behind you. <laughs> I can't believe I have to do this. It's kind of ninja-ish with your man bun up top. Yeah. <laughs> Is that too tight, babe? No, no, it's alright. You're alive. Oh, I am. That could have been a lot worse, so... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I was very, very, very close to passing out before I... And then I was grabbing, trying to grab the rope and my hands wouldn't work and I was like... I feel like an idiot. This isn't funny, I shouldn't be laughing. This is a really serious issue and I'm very unhappy with Riley. But... Why? Because, I don't know, I just don't like that. You stooping off the back. No, I shouldn't be mad, like, we've stooped off the back so many times. I'm not mad. Fun. You do have to have fun and you got to live and, you know, if he Next had a minute it'll be no hoist in the main sail. But no, wait. He, if he had a fallen overboard without hitting his head, it would have been fine. Like we could have pulled in the sails real quick, Yosha and I, and turned around and got in with the engine. But he knocked his head, and he was seeing black, and that could have he could have been knocked out in the water. It's more like an orangey red. Whatever colour it was, mate, you're in trouble. Nah, I'm just glad you're okay. I think the swimming with the rope off the back is fine. It's just. You just went in funny. It's just general retardedness. Yeah. Need to avoid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you walk on in, don't say a word. Get on mesmerized. You flick your head and look away. I so. How about that? That's a bit better. Apologies if I'm a little bit uh, discombobulated. I received a knock to the head earlier. Things aren't going very well. The wind is coming from exactly where we want to be going, which is very, very annoying. So we're having to tack into the breeze and we're having to keep a very close eye on the apparent wind because if it gets over 12, I need to take down that sail, which is behind me just there. That's the code zero. Very good sail, it means that we can be sailing rather than going super, super slow and thinking about motoring. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of ships around and we're gonna have to be paying a lot of attention tonight. We're about, we're probably only 50 miles from Malta, so we've still got another 150 miles to go. We should have been a lot closer to our destination by now. But, them's the brakes and uh, morale's are quite high on board and uh, we're about to have a bit of dinner. These noodles are a very interesting texture. Yeah. Uh, kind of fun though. They're not bad. Mm. Like, 
They're a fantastic kind of substitute. Yeah, it's a bit chewy. Mm-hmm. What's going on, Kimai? Don't call me Kim, Alana. <laughs> no, we should come up with an appropriate kung fu name. <laughs> Now. Yeah, like Jean Claude. Alright. What, what's going on? Sorry? What's going on? To whom are you talking? Uh, Jean Claude. Oh, just to put the radar on. There's a very real possibility that there could be um, small refugee boats in the area escaping Africa. No so, lights, no, so definitely no AIS. We've got the radar on, we've been warned by everyone, so yes, we're being about as cautious as we can. Hello, well, I'm on watch. It is, I think, about 12.30. Um, I'm on till two. We're gonna take two hour shifts tonight, so I'm gonna wake Riley up at two. He's going to wake Yosha up at four. Yeah, we're going quite nicely right now. We're on 6.5 knots speed with 10 knots of wind uh, from 90 degrees, so it is super comfortable right now. There's no swell out here and we are just flying along. It's really, really nice. And I'm reading my book and just having a bit of me time. It's great. I do really love the nights. It just brings this whole like different feeling to sailing. It's it's nice. It's really nice. Please give the video a like if you liked it and join us next time as we get soaked in rough weather on our last day at sea before we make landfall. Yeah. Won't you walk the final line alive with me? Yeah. Won't you walk the final